morning, it's uh, Jolly Boy. The daily grind continues. Uh, I enjoyed the live stream last night, but I had to make it quick because I have got a life as well. And uh, topics of conversation talked about the drones, what BD you use, GoPros. Um, but the best thing you can use it obviously is your phone. It's quick, it's easy, and it's there. And I covered about terms and conditions again. I talked about design, etc., working with a third party. Lots of things. Uh, I talked about the BSW Eero board, which means color board in Japanese. Fantastic looking board. There is a training day coming up uh, very soon. We're going to arrange two training days across the country. So if you are interested to learn a little bit more about this board, it's an amazing board. As I said last night, it's, uh, it's pressure treated. It's, it's, it, they do the Yakisugi, then it's pressure treated, then it's brushed off, it's kiln dried, and then they put that... Uh, that color on it is fantastic look i want to see what you're doing today we need to cover these topics of conversation these are topics that come up on a regular basis and uh, if you're not sure about it you know the group is there the community is there so you can talk, you can learn about what's going on uh, the other thing that normally comes up is how to cut porcelain you know it's a good answer this morning on somebody's post first time they're going to lay it remember to cut it even and cut in on the ends because otherwise you get a lot of tension in the porcelain and it can crack on the underside where you don't want it to especially when you've overlaid in the first place that's it have a great day you want to see your pictures your posts what a miserable day with the weather see you soon it's not exactly warm uh, exactly summertime here in Cardiff I've got my jacket on because I'm actually froze this morning we're on our second project now and uh, we're down here we've got concrete coming we've got uh, nearly four cubes of uh, a lean mix which we're going to use as a PQC a paving quality concrete and uh, that is for this rigid paving system because we're really laying porcelain and without doubt I think it's the only way forward Dad. But it's absolutely perfect. Skip fill. The paving has arrived. Paving's going. There's lorries going over the paving, and uh, we've got concrete. The concrete's arrived, so it's all scheduling quite well. So there goes the egg and bacon this morning. Look, what we've done here, we've got a sheet under the skip, and uh, our concrete's arrived. We're having a lean mix. We're having a PQC paving quality concrete. What I tend to do on a lot of my projects is that I don't necessarily take it a big deposit at the start. I, you see a lot of contractors falling uh, by the wayside because they take too much money at the start. So what we actually do, we get our clients to pay for everything as and when we have it. Talk about the client, who is that? It's Richard. See you in a minute. Well, what we have here, we're going to be putting a porcelain patio down in this area. And in normal conditions, when you're doing a patio, you would put a sub base. In pedestrian areas, the patio doesn't need to be no more than 100 mil unless the ground is soft. But when you use a porcelain, you have a thinner product. It's about 20 mil now. The pavement's getting thinner and thinner and thinner. Though the porcelain is strong, what you're going to find with this, this is called a PQC, a pavement quality concrete, okay? It's more than sufficient. They use this in the highways. What happens is that if you were to have a compromise under your paving with normal type one MOT sub base, it would just give, and you, you'd see the undulation in the paving. With a PQC, pavement quality concrete, it basically forms a beam, okay? Because it's rigid. This is a rigid paving system. What you can see around the house now is we've got some CLS timber all the way around, and that will ensure that we have a void, okay? We never take a rigid paving system up to the superstructure, the superstructure being the house, and the reason for that you'll have movement at different rates and also what we don't realize is when rains 
from that brickwork, a lot of that brickwork will soak up the water, but at some point, at saturation levels, and we have it in the UK regular, it is going to hit the bottom. And if you actually pave them tight to the house, you'll have basically, you'll see all the cement sediment from the rain and the dust along the perimeter of your paving, and that's not good at all. So in this case, the water can run back down in the ground like it should do, and not capping off the area. That's it for now. There it is. The sub base is in, and we've used this PQC's, this pavement quality concrete. And as I explained, it'll maintain its integrity. But one of the things that it'll actually do is that when you're laying this porcelain, it will adhere the laying bed will adhere to this sub base better than if it was using uh, an MOT type one. And there are a lot of guys across the countries that are putting MOT down, but they're also putting it in wet, which is no good at all. Get on it. Well, this is a sample of uh, the porcelain we're going to be using. And uh, it's called Grigio, I think, the client when I picked it up. It's like a light grey, so it's going to work perfectly with the brickwork of the house. It's a real good contrast, and uh, if you went for a darker colour here, because all that red, it looked too dark, and uh, this will lift it and make it a little lighter. Very contemporary and modern, of course. I think it's going to look the bee's knees. turn of a bubble. Well here they are, they didn't want to appear on, on camera, but I've, I've got them here on camera. This is... Cheryl? Richard. So this is day two, isn't it? Right. This, this is great because we're doing a real vlog now, yeah. and do you realise that uh, you're going to help the consumer out there? Right. Yeah, so you're helping those, cons those people right. that are looking for advice. So. Recap, this is like the epilogue after the streets of San Francisco in it. Epilogue at the end of the day. For all those all our viewers that don't know what the streets of San Francisco is, we do because of our age, don't we? Yeah. But we're looking good. We're looking good. So recap, where where are we at? And how is it looking? How do you feel? Yeah, it's fine. Um, excellent, excellent, yeah. It worked really hard. It did work yeah. hard and bubble trees and uh, But it's okay working hard, but the work's gotta be right, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's yeah, it's looking excellent, but fair few's over there. Um, so next stage, we're going to be. We talked about um, on Monday. We talked about you guys are going to go off in the afternoon. But first thing Monday, we're going to dry lay the pavement out, mm -hmm. and we're going to have a look at it. Yeah. And then you'll have the veto to say whether you like the laying pattern. Yeah, the laying pattern. Yeah. And we've got the right colour slabs as well. Yes. Well, I'm glad it's not a main thing. <laughs> There's nothing worse. So we're not going to get in a mess, are we? Never. Right. So Cheers. there we are. Thank you very much. See you on Monday. Day two. Monday. I look. Bye. I look forward to day three. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Me too. Day five. Get more tea bags in. It's the most sport. <laughs> Well, there you are, um, lovely customers, and um, they're happy, and that's how you need to keep them all through. And if you do have a problem, you just deal with it, you know, just be accountable for everything. And uh, I know sometimes uh, people get together in order to water by, not just in archery, um, relationships can be tested, but keep it going.